Hi, this is John DeSmith. In this video, we're going to talk about using Springs uh, Java Config with actually a Springs MVC web project. Lately, I've been doing a lot of videos on Springs Java Config. It's a pretty hot topic right now, but I haven't done any with showing you how to use it in a web application. So what I decided to do was write a little blog together. If you go to my website here, jonathanmarksmith.com, you can see my blog on there of how to use Springs Java Config, Java Config style with Springs MVC web. Uh, but now that I have it on the blog, I always like to write a video, uh, do a video afterwards. So, so I'm going to go over various steps that I did on my blog site, actually inside the code and just show you the code and just go through it. But I want to show you just a quick example of how it works. This is how the application looks. Basically, it's really not much to it. It's just a little application. A page comes up, and it says here, click here. Click here just shows just another page. It's really not much. Just a basic uh, model view controller uh, with an application, one page, just to show you really how to use Java configuration inside of a MVC project. So first thing let's do is actually let's look at the, the controller. Uh, sorry, the, the config class for the web. As you see, uh, but then I have to make it a web enable MVC project and I tell it where to sp uh, span, scan sorry, for my components and I set up the view of where I wanted to look for my views and types and I set up the resources. It's everything that I would put into my XML. Then from there, of course, we have to go into the web.xml and tell it where to look. So inside my web XML, all this should look normal to you. This is the line to actually look for. The content, the content configure locator. This actually points to now a Java package. The one, the package where my config class is and also where my controller is. Then if you go down, you have actually my controller which is uh, basically just a controller and it looks for a get to come in on slash ask and it just does it forward to the hello world page and that's pretty much how easy it is and uh, again to get this project or to run it you basically go to github right here and do a clone of it you cd into the directory and then and then I just set up the uh, tomcat7 plugin and then you go here and run it but now I just want to go see something in the code because I like to look around. Now, if you go to my code, perfect. You could see, oh, that's intelligent. You could see they have the at configuration, at enable web embassy, and at scan. All these things are very important to have. If you realize on my website just now, I forgot the at sign. So that's why I wanted to bring you into the code to actually see the code of it to show you that I do got real working code and I will fix that tomorrow. Mm. Uh, so when you go here, sorry about that. That's my daughter messaging me during the video. Um, so so if you come here, you can actually see the configuration class. And as I said, it's just basically setting up a view where to go for resources. And then here's my main controller. That basically just looks for a get coming in and does it sends you to the hello world. And in here is my hello world JSP. That basically just says thank you. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to use Java config style inside a web MVC project. If you have any questions or concerns about adding it, please feel free to email me or find me on Twitter. I'll be happy to help you. And again, my name is Jonathan Smith, and I'm looking forward to your input. Thank you.